Hi guys, it's Wendy. I am here today with my lip service project pan update number one. Um, this is a year-long project pan in collaboration with the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group, as most of my pans are. Um, and this one is been left up to uh, participants' discretion a lot. And the way I'm doing it is a roulette style where I I'm just trying to use all of my lip products throughout the year. So last month I had my daughter pick out four products along with some that I know I want to actually use up and pan completely. Um, so this month I had my husband pick out. So it's kind of fun to see what everybody thinks I want to, they want to see me in. So first of all, if you watched my Avengers update, the red lipstick is coming along and it's almost gone. Then this other one is another one I wanted to use up. This is Whisper of Rose, and I found out that this is a Max Factor lipstick. Um, this is what it looks like. I've only used this just a couple times, so there's really, the lines there, there's really not much progress. But here's the thing, it's still winter here. I mean, it's like a negative something degrees outside right now, and this is really, to me, a um, springy color because it's this pretty kind of sparkly pink so once spring rolls around I will be wearing this a lot and hopefully getting through it before the summer so that one I expect to use but not right now so then what my daughter had picked up was picked out was the Jante blue lip liner and this is a wooden pencil and it's a nice creamy formula and I like it but I have decided that I will not actually purchase a wooden pencil lip liner because I hate it because when I rub it on my lips if the pencils gets wore down a little bit I end up with wood chips in my lips and that hurts so I would not purchase a wood pencil for my lip liner because of that let me let me get a train of thought here because of that so I will use this up but I wouldn't rebuy it even though it's an okay lip liner um, I prefer using a clear lip liner when I do do any lipstick that I need a lip liner with. So, but she, when she picked that out, she had picked out this Wet n Wild lipstick, and I wear this quite a bit with with the liner. They match really well, and I like this. All right, it's one of those that you know you need a lip liner with. So I was glad she picked out a lip liner to go with that. <clears throat> um, then. She had picked out the Pretty Vulgar that I had just gotten in BoxyCharm. Now this one's going to stay in for a couple more weeks until I, um, excuse me, until I do my uh, BoxyCharm Revisited. That's just a metallic one. This one was called, what's it called? Secret Sabotage. So this one's going to stay in for a couple more weeks. And then... Once I uh, give my thoughts on the boxy charm from December, I'll move it back into my regular collection because I, you know, sneak peek, I really have enjoyed that. Then the final one she picked out was this lip gloss by Avon. It's a sparkle lip gloss. Here, there's some on my finger. Now this thing is a mess. This one is officially getting moved into being panned because if you saw that, I did not twist this at all. It broke. So I want to pan this and get it moved out because now it is just this, this messy thing going on. So this one's officially going in the two pan part of this project. So along with the um, lipsticks, I had the lip scrub. This is just a, you know, exfoliating, smoothing treatment. And I don't think this had any pan last month, but I mean, we're working on it and that's how much there is this month. I uh, exfoliate weekly, bi-weekly, um, anytime my lips feel like they need it. So that is something I've been working on. And then I've also had chapsticks in there. There's nothing that's used up yet. I have a My Favorite Night Balm. Hold on, I have a, a spare one in here. This one I have up by my bed, and this is just a backup. I have up by my bed that's got maybe a few nights left of use. I put this on every night before bed and throughout the day if I'm having a really bad chap flip day. So next, well, along with those, oh, this was the other thing. The uh, 
liquid lipstick remover, you know, there's still stuff in there. It's still, it's just a thing, you know, but as I'm going through my lipsticks, there's a whole bunch of liquid lipsticks that are, comp that dry down completely and do the cement lip thing. So this is great for taking it off. So I continue to use that throughout the year. So another thing, and I don't think I mentioned it, is my Universal Clear Lip lip liner and I'll mark this one but this is what I use with the majority of the cream lipsticks that need a liner instead of having a color for each one because I'm not a huge lip liner person I am the you know completely dried down matte liquid lipstick type of person so now I had my husband pick out four for me this month and it's really quite interesting to see what kind of uh things he picked. So the first thing he picked was my brand new Wet n Wild. I think I just showed you this in my uh, my inventory because uh, I just picked this up on clearance. So this is just a Wet n Wild. Obviously I'm just opening it for the first time. And this is just a red sparkly gloss. Ooh, that's pretty. If you can see the glitter. Oh, you can see the glitter. So I originally picked this up to try it out like next Christmas or, but you know, it's February. So Valentine's Day, I suppose, and my anniversary is this month too. So maybe I'll wear that. Okay. The next thing he picked was, he goes, where are all your dark lipsticks? And I said, oh yeah, they're all in like this teeny tiny size because I don't wear them that much. So this one is Oxford Wine. It's an Avon color. And I don't know why I don't wear these, because I love the dark vampy shades, but I guess it's not quite dark vampy weather. You always feel that's in the fall. So this one right here, that's that one. So I'm wondering if I can't finish this one up already this month, because I'd like to work through all these minis. That's one of my goals for my collection throughout this year, is to use up all the like sample sizes of things. <clears throat> so the next thing he picked was this CoverGirl one. It's number 661. I think it was called Cinnamon something or another, but they don't have the actual names on these. This one is a nice brownie, brownie red, ready brown, more ready brown. Um, and it's kind of got uh, like a metallic to it. Um, so there's that one. And then the final one he picked was this pink. And this is also a metallic. Has a metallic to it. And this one is... This pretty pink. And this one takes some building up. But it is this real pretty pink color here. And so I will be using that throughout the month. And seeing how I like that. So those are the four I'm adding. And putting the one from last month into actually finishing up and moving the lip liner and this lipstick back into my collection using this one until I do my review and moving those four back into or moving those four into the project. So that is my update for the month of February, first month update on the lip service project pan. I hope you'll check out all the other ladies doing this project on Instagram and YouTube. And I hope you'll stick around and watch more panning videos and see how I do throughout the year on this. But until the next time, I will talk to you all later.